before we start the video, I just want to let you know that I do have a Patreon, and it's the only way to keep this channel alive. If you want to be a member of my Patreon, it's in the link in the description down below. In order to react to videos like these, since this is a Patreon requested video, I have to let you guys know, you only be a member, you have to be a Hobbit and Hero, or a Hobbit and Protector on my Patreon. This will help this will help you to request for videos in the future, and maybe some artwork. That's all I have to say. I hope you guys get the message, and like I said, if you want to request a video, you got to be a member on my Patreon. That's the only way to, be, to, to do so. And it's, and it's, and it's in the it's link in the description down below. Now, enough of that. Let's get on to the reaction, shall we? And I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care, and, and let's get this started. What is up, YouTube? Frost the Hobbit here, and today I'm back with another reaction video from pa a Patreon request. And then, again, this is another video requested by, once again, Zach Cow. The Ink Tank series, the Five Years Later. The Five Years Later series. And episode five. This one's called Oversight. Alrighty, uh, you all know the rules. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, follow the official release. And uh, support the Ink Tanks channel. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Then come back and see my reaction to it. This is a fun series. I do enjoy it. The Ben 10 and Jamie Phantom crossover. Hopefully, the new series I'm hoping to read. Hopefully, I'm, I do enjoy this. I do enjoy this series. It looks amazing. The voice work is good. They put in a lot of work in comic book arts animation style. So yeah, I'm enjoying it. Thank you, Zach Cal, for sending me this request. And I hope you guys support the... It support my reaction. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, we'll, I hope you I hope you guys are enjoying this. If you want to support the channel, make sure to uh, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified from future videos and reactions. I might re surprise you with a different reaction in the future. And support the support the channel by a member of my Patreon or be a member of the Hobbit Squad by hitting the join button. That being said, enough of me talking. Let's get into reacting. In three, two, one, let's go. Okay, you know the, the warning. Okay, that was loud. This is this is a much this is for mature audiences. So viewer discretion is advised. Had, they already gave you the warning if you read it. I don't know why I have to say it since they already gave us the warning. Ben's dimension. Sucks. What sucks? Agreed. We should not be off post. Would you rather be alone if a bad guy broke into the base? This is a better sure. idea. Are you sure? Commander Tennyson had us rehearse protocols in our own posts every day for months. Right. We should embrace okay. the privilege to train under Ben 10 himself by respecting his orders. I like the voice work in these guys. But perhaps we should hear Lula out. <laughs> oh, nice. Commander Tennyson chose me to be the captain of the team. That means he also trusts my judgment, right? And I think if some creep tried to infiltrate us, we'd stand a much better chance of fighting together than spread out on our own. What if it was Albedo or Dr. Logic? Or Vilgax. Okay. Albedo, Dr. Logic, Vilgax, very classic Ben 10, ben 10 villains, if you, if you know the series. But Vilgax? I'm not sure about that. Don't be dense. No one's seen Vilgax in years. Right. If you watch the series, yeah. Oh, shit. Get ready, guys. If it's Vilgax and we all somehow survive, I'm laying eggs in your stomach. Okay, um, thanks. Good to know. It's coming through. Whoa, whoa, easy. Can I not be threatened every time I enter a new room in this dimension? <laughs> Commander Tennyson! Good to see you all again, Orion Squad. Danny, meet my students. Chirp, Lula, Chirp. Gotro, Eve, and Crunch. Okay, Chirp, Lola. Gertro, Eve, and Crunch. I think you met Lola in the past episode. I think it was episode three when you met her. You know, it was the situation. How was your mission, Commander? Productive, but it's not over. The enemy escaped. We think the battle was some kind of diversion. Vlad's always been tricky like that. Yes, he is. Diversion? From what? Don't know. Lula, were there any security breaches while I was away? The life form detector didn't go off until you arrived. What about a software breach, like a virus? Um, I don't know, actually. Oh, software breaches. 
We've been hacked. They duplicated some files and corrupted the originals. I can't tell what's missing. Gotro, oh. digital surveillance was your department. Why weren't you at your post? Well, uh, Lula thought it would be a good idea to do surveillance together, just in case we actually had to fight someone, you know? Right. Lula, do you know what you've done? You're always talking about how we're strongest when we're together, that teamwork is the only way to become a true hero. This is different, Lula. We have oh. protocols for a reason. I just thought... No, okay. you didn't. Um, uh, I should probably get going, too. Yeah, nice to that was a... Ben's kind of serious on this part. Again, he's a lot older here. <laughs> should be more. Brooke, did you bring it? I have testimony that all stains have been removed. The smell, however, appears permanent. What's up with the jacket anyway? <laughs> Nostalgia's sake, this is the first time Kevin, Gwendolyn, and Grandpa and I have all been together ah. in years. Ah, Benton Alien Force. I remember I remember that jacket. It's I love that jacket. I like that the jacket design, but uh it's not, does not my I do not love, but like like it's it's kind of a in a way. I like that jacket on him. Yeah, wish uh, wish we saw more of it, but I'm glad they brought it back. And a little re a little mem blast from the past of nostalgia. I wore this back when See we first I mean? formed the team. I was only 15 years old. Hey, look! Here they come now. So it is confirmed that in Alien Force he was 15, and Omniverse he was apparently 16. Huh? Did I remember. You you. I remember hey, you. Great voice work. It's good to see you again, Gwendolyn. You've gotten taller. Hey, Kev. I remember that dog. Like a the alien dog. For once. Look who's still scrawny in a jacket made for a child. I missed you too, jackass. <laughs> Dad is not for kids. Grandpa. He couldn't get the time off. I'm sorry, Ben. Oh. Again? This is like the third time. Oh. Leading the entire Plumber fleet as Magistratus is a pretty occupying job. At least you still get to be in charge while he's gone. He was hoping this guy for that helped you take down a way bad. Thought you said he had snow white hair. He also has glowing green eyes. There you Daddy go. Phantom. Nice to meet you. I'm Gwendolyn, Ben's cousin. This is Kevin. I can see you've met Zed. <laughs> Ben yeah, I know. I remember Zed all too able. well. He wasn't he used to hunt down Ben with that little animal omni animal omni tricks that transformed the different predators. I remember different predators of each alien that Ben transforms into. It's it's been a while since I've seen the series, but you know what I'm talking about if you are a Ben Ten fan. Follow me to this dimension. Well, kinda. Ben told us you saw Vlad disappear, even though Grab Attack has him locked into a fixed extremity. We got this yes. image off Ben's Omnitrix right before he escaped. We sent a photo to our friend Jimmy Jones. He identified this flash as a temporal rift. Vlad oh, Jimmy Jones, I remember. Yeah. I mentioned before you the little kid. She never well, computers in tech. He spent years perfecting his power while I was retired. If he can do things like this, then we'll beat him. And we won't give up until we do. Nah, if Gwendolyn, only you knew. You it's, it's, he didn't do it. I have a theory. Every time someone leaps through reality, a rift is created. If time were to unravel into a line, these rifts would be visible and create a map where and when each rift was accessed. Oh! We follow the trail, and it'll take us right to wherever Vlad disappeared to. So every time they we hop from dimension to dimension, it leaves a trail. Good to know. That's actually pretty helpful. Nice. I got some temporal runes from Ledger Domain. And I got my old Null Void Projector, too. If I can rig them all together... We'd be able to find Vlad. You guys are good. But how soon can we leave? I can ready a transport ship. Danny, can you show us the exact spot Vlad disappeared from on Earth? Gladly. I'm liking this. Alrighty. Getting ready to head out. All set? Ah, Diamond Head. Analyzed and stabilized. Your ride's good to go, Commander. Who's he? The reason I've gathered you all here before I leave for this mission. This is Cooper Daniels, an old friend. I'm promoting him to Hey, Cooper, I remember. I think I remember you. The, the hair is knocking me. Babysitter? It's a large base to only have 12 operatives on staff, and that's including you guys. Plus, Cooper's a technopath. <laughs> In a few minutes, I could have this entire base connected to my mind under my complete control. How original. 
This is because of earlier, isn't it? I made it clear how important it was that this base is secure. Oh. You made it your responsibility while I was gone. That now, is true. The enemy's been in our systems and can know Serious anything that was on our files. Our strategies, our records, our tech. I'm not oh, going to take another risk just because you want to prove yourself. Wow, that that is that I, that's an understandable reasoning. And I see why you're I see why you're disappointed. I was just doing what I thought was best for the team. By not following protocol, not keeping watch in your assigned posts, specifically designed so every um. spot in the base is accounted for. If I knew where the breach came from, I'm fast enough to run to wherever it was. So why didn't you? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you're not as fast as you think you are. Whoa. Okay. Um. That's uh. Look, what I meant was. Is yikes. that what this is about? Because you're the great Ben Tennyson, and if something doesn't work out for you, you can just transform into a new alien, and everything's perfect. Lula. Well, not all of us can just change ourselves to be better. Some of us are stuck with our flaws. Be at my assigned post. Ah, crap baskets. Mm. Crunch notice. Attention, everyone. We are about to take off. Please enter the vehicle or exit oh, the sad. location. This room will lose all oxygen once the hangar doors unlock. Thanks, Rook. Are you sure we should just leave? We still have our mission. Lula will be okay. She's gonna need the space to clear her head. Okay. Hate to leave in such a sour note. Ah. Uh. You know, even though it was Lula's idea, she couldn't force the team to listen to her. Everyone has a part to play in this. I know. The squad looks to Lula for guidance. And they'll back her play because they trust her, even if it goes against all odds. That's what makes her authority dangerous. If she makes the wrong call, she could get her whole team killed. I still believe she was the perfect that... choice for Captain, but for now, she cares too much about trying to prove herself to make a clear-minded decision. Yeah, try... she has good intentions, but if you're doing it just to prove, to prove yourself, it could be to a positive or negative effect. Don't do it. You gotta make sure your decisions count, not just for yourself, but for the people around you. That's what. That's one of the most one, one of the important reasons of being a leader. You gotta look out not just for yourself, but your teammates. Make sure everyone is okay and make it out alive in a complete in a mission complete. So I see what you're going for, Ben, and I understand you, seeing that you know the flaws of that of, of leadership. That shows how much you have. This version of Ben has grown, and I, I like, I like the good writing in this. I like the writing in this. Hmm. Reminds me of some kid I knew back in the day. <laughs> ah, nostalgia. There it is. Ah, nostalgia. Earth, just outside of Bill. Once we have this lost doesn't look the like Earth. Signature, we can follow the temporal trail to his most recent location. Hope you guys are ready for this. All right. Potential zones. Guess this is what I deserve. Freeze. with our other The trail ends here. This is their most recent location. Where are we now? A different universe? Looks like it. Uh, guys, are you seeing yeah. this right now? Let's see where you are. Oh, you're in Zim Invader Zim's dimension, outside of space. Uh, are they taking energy from a sun? What's that machine doing? Never seen that kind of tech before. Yeah, you like of course you would. Harness that dwarf star's power. Of course you would never heard of that of that technology because uh, different dimensions have different tech. So yeah. Guess they're looking for round two. You ready? Flat's on that ship. I'm close enough to sense him. Along with another ghost? Your ghost powers have improved. You, the fact that you're using it to sense other ghost presences, and it's part of your ice powers, which I like. I like that. that that's a nice, nice little, that's a nice little element there. I'll be okay. Back. 
Kevin, Rook, see if you can do something Omniverse, about that star. Omniverse, the Omniverse stuff for form. Oh, you been. From Omniverse. You know what I mean. Oh, a new alien. Ooh. That's a fact. Open the door. What's this alien? Nice. Wow, this was really good. Really, really good. Okay, let me see the cast members. Uh, Danny Phantom, Scott Frenritz, which we all know. Ben Tennyson, Praxin Lee, we know that. Gwen Gwendolyn Tennyson is Julius Lapit Lopez. Julius Lopez. Kevin Eleven is Andrew Russell. He does Nathan an amazing? He does an amazing job. He sounds just like him. I I I, got, I give him congrats on that. Rook Blanco, Rook Blanco is played by AJ. Is AJ Beckles. Cooper Dennis is played by Xander Mobis. Uh, Xander Mobis. Got, got to trust Xander Mobis when it comes to good voice work there. Actually, they all good voice good voice work. Voice work. Great voice actors. Clarence is voiced by Emery, Amari, Amari Williams. Eve is voiced by Elsa Lovelock. Oh, wow. That's impressive. Gotro is voiced by Chris Crickets. Crickets Lola is voiced by J Juicy Fanning, Fanning, and Chirp is voiced by an actual cricket. <laughs> an actual, an actual cricket. Okay, that's how you're gonna call it. Okay, uh, Diamond Head, Xander Mobis, Ultraviolet. That's the name of the alien. Okay, um, Zan Diamond Head is voiced by Xander Mobis, Armory Williams, uh, the same as Crunch. Okay, not bad, not bad at all. I not so bad, not bad, my fr my my good good people, <laughs> talented people there. I am mumbling my words up here. I am so sorry. Well, that was a uh, bent five years later, episode five. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. What were your thoughts on this episode? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, take care. Have a good day. Be safe. And most importantly, stay frosty and stay healthy out there. Catch you all later and make sure to wash your hands. <laughs> bye bye. All comes down to this one penalty kick. Can the young woman break the glass ceiling and prove once and for all that a female can be just as good an athlete as a male? You know, Amy, anytime someone calls attention to the breaking of gender rules, it ultimately undermines the concept of gender equality by implying that this is an exception and not the status quo. What? Just because I'm a meathead doesn't mean I'm not a feminist.